Welcome to 5 Minute School and in today's video we're going to be talking about dehydration. The definition of dehydration is a state of pure deprivation of water which leads to sodium retention. The clinical symptoms of dehydration is intense thirst, fever, mental confusion and oligourea which means abnormally small amounts of urine. So dehydration can occur in the following conditions. So in cases of gastrointestinal excretion, we can get dehydrated through severe vomiting, diarrhea and cholera. And through cases of renal excretion, we can get dehydrated in acute renal failure in the diuretic phase. We can also get dehydrated with extensive use of diuretics. And dehydration can also occur in endocrine diseases like diabetes insipidus and Addison's disease. Now. Uh, another way we can get dehydrated is by the loss of blood and plasma, so this, this can either be in severe injuries or severe blood loss, or during childbirth we can lose a lot of fluid. Also we can get dehydrated through water loss through skin, so excessive sweating or perspiration or hypothermia. And another way we can get dehydrated is when we have accumulated uh, accumulation of fluid in third spaces. So this is the development of ascites and acute intestinal obstruction with accumulation of fluid in the bowels. So the morphological features of dehydration, what it actually looks like is we have dark shrunken organs, we have some hematological and biochemical changes, uh, other changes involve increased pack cell volume, uh, we have raised hemoglobin levels, a rise in blood volume, a rise in serum sodium, and then we also have renal shutdown. And all of this can eventually result in a state of shock, which may develop with uh, prolonged dehydration.